All this month, we've looked deeply into research at the UW that highlights Russian attempts to influence our thoughts about politics. As of right now, no substantial changes have been made in government or on social media to stop this in 2020. But another researcher at the UW might be able to help by giving us insight into how our minds process this. Amy Reid explains. Broadly speaking, I study uh, stereotyping, bias, prejudice. William Cox has researched and published studies about bias at the University of Wisconsin-Madison for years. Memes used as political ads from Kremlin-tied pages, he says, fit right in. Like this one, labeling a bacon-covered U.S. map as a Sharia-free zone. That's basically saying we don't want those kinds of people here and they're not supposed to be here. And that's the kind of stuff that can go on to perpetuate worse and worse kinds of hate and, and bias. We've shown you before these memes can blend in they're posted by pages that look domestic even midwestern like this iowa patriot and they're targeted based on your previous social media use both conservative and liberal and if it's something you already believe psychology tells us it might be harder to scrutinize you pay more attention to things that match your expectations um, and even when you have like uh, information that matches your expectations and information that contradicts them, your brain actually gives more weight to the information that um, supports your expectations. It's a phenomenon called confirmation bias. In Cox's research, he gave people three times more evidence against their current beliefs, and participants still walked away without changing their minds. Cox said awareness is the first step to combat it. It takes being aware that this is the tendency and putting in the effort to kind of focus in and actually get the facts and not just absorb information that is what you agree with. In his own social media, he'll fact check even the things he agrees with. Your brain doesn't want to do a lot of work to kind of rewire its belief systems or, or what it's learned before. And so if it's something you kind of agree with, very often people will like read the headline of an article and the headline generally fits what they think. And so they're like, okay, good, I'm right. Like having to like change your opinion or change your perspective takes more effort and generally you, you don't aren't going to want to do that. But you have to, because there's no government intervention in place to prevent foreign ads. Anecdotal evidence shows they're already here, targeting you ahead of the 2020 election. And though they start off as bias, research in 2016 showed their goal is to keep you from wanting to vote for anyone on election day. So the easiest thing for you to do now is to stay aware and do your research. Even if it's something that you agree with, you should hold yourself to a higher standard of, of integrity and, and evidence. Amy Reed, News 3 Now. This story is part of a series. If you would like to read or watch more of the stories we've included, or for more election and politics news, head to channel3000.com.